Today, I'm putting Wilt Chamberlain in the modern NBA. We're here for the 2024 NBA Draft, where Wilt Chamberlain is almost guaranteed to be selected first overall. He comes into the league as a 91 overall rookie, and you're probably thinking, why is he such a high overall headed into his first season? Well, if you didn't know, in year number one of his NBA career, Wilt averaged 38 points per game. So I actually think he could come into the league at a bit of a higher overall but we're just gonna have him as a 91 to start. With that, we should see dominance from Chamberlain from the very beginning of his NBA career. Now, he was a bit of an older rookie when he came into the league, but nonetheless, I think we're gonna see some great things from Chamberlain. With the first pick in the 2024 draft, the Detroit Pistons select Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt is gonna be teaming up with Cade Cunningham, and he's gonna have a challenge trying to save a team that has been historically bad over this past season in real life. But the good news is Chamberlain is going to have some solid young teammates that can progress alongside of him, and immediately Will comes in as the best player on the team. The Pistons knew that they had somebody special when they drafted Wilt, so they went out and added Pascal Siakam in free agency. They also got Valanchunas as a backup for Chamberlain. This team looks great. I would not be surprised if they made the playoffs in this upcoming season. Season number one is wrapped, and to no surprise, Wilt Chamberlain won Rookie of the Year, averaging 20 points per game to go along with 14 rebounds and 3 assists. He also averaged over 2 blocks a night. Chamberlain ended up winning DPOY in his first season as well. Wilt was even on All-NBA second team, but more impressive than all of these individual accolades was the fact that Wilt saved the Pistons. They won 51 games on the season. That was good enough for the three seed in the East, and in the first round, we got the Orlando Magic. The Magic have Paolo. He's really good at basketball, but I think our team is definitely better than theirs. We're up 3-2 to two in the series, and we're headed to a Game 7, so the first big test of Wilt's career. A winner go home game seven, and it looks like Wilt is going to pass this test with flying colors. Chamberlain and the Pistons dominate in game seven, and Wilt puts up 36 and 22. Wilt Chamberlain is having no problems adjusting to the modern NBA. And next up, we've got the Atlanta Hawks. With Trey and DeJounte, our backcourt is definitely going to have their hands full on the defensive side of the ball. But are you really telling me Clint Capella is stopping Wilt Chamberlain? Game one of the series goes to the Hawks. Game two also goes to the Hawks. Oh, okay, we're cooked. We end up getting swept by Atlanta. A pretty solid start to Wilt Chamberlain's career, though. He led the Pistons to the second round. In real life, they'll probably throw a parade if the Pistons win 20 games this season. So the fact that Wilt was able to get them to to the playoffs a year later is pretty impressive. But now it's time for Wilt Chamberlain to lock in and help this team win an NBA championship. I'm expecting that we'll have quite a few players improve a lot. Yeah, look at all the green progression arrows that we're seeing here. Things are gonna get scary in Detroit if we can keep this whole core together. But let's go ahead and get into season number two. Season number two is wrapped. Luka Doncic wins MVP. I'm wondering when Wilt will be able to get his hands on one of those awards. Chamberlain wins Defensive Player of the Year for the second season in a row, and Wilt was on All-NBA second team as well. We were the number one seed this season, winning 60 games, so it hasn't taken long for Detroit to become a powerhouse team in the Eastern Conference after the addition of Chamberlain. In round number one, we got the Atlanta Hawks. They're the eight seed, we're the one seed, and they might beat us. We're down three to one. We're gonna win game five and game six. Let's see if Will can pull off this 3-1 comeback. I think the Atlanta Hawks might be Wilt Chamberlain's kryptonite. Yeah, they're gonna get the win in game seven here. 31 and 16 from Chamberlain, but overall not a great series from Wilt. His points and rebounds were lower than what he was averaging in the regular season. And Trey and DeJounte cooked us, I guess, so we lose to the Hawks for the second year in a row. 
Now, last year they were the two seed, so it wasn't as bad. But this year, they were the eight seed and we were the one seed. We gotta be better than that. It's starting to look like real life where Will Chamberlain was a really dominant regular season player, but when it came down to the playoffs, sometimes he struggled. Hopefully, Will can get over that. I mean, we are still early in his career and he's improving. He's up to a 97 overall, headed into the third season of his NBA career. Time to lock in, Will. Let's go win some rings. Season is wrapped and Victor Wembenyama wins MVP before Wilt Chamberlain. Now granted, Wemby was drafted a year before Wilt, but impressive nonetheless for Wembenyama. But one award that Chamberlain has on lock is the Defensive Player of the Year. That's three DPOYs in three seasons. Wilt made All-NBA second team this season once again. That's three years in a row making the second team, and we won 61 games. In round number one, we're gonna be taking on the Washington Wizards. We go ahead and sweep them. In round two, it's gonna be Philadelphia. We're up three to two on Philly. We just need one more and we're gonna win. So now we're in the conference finals. This is a pretty decent Raptors team, but I don't think they're better than us. Hopefully we can make our first finals appearance. Game one goes to us. We also take game two. They win game three and four. All right, this game five is going to be very important with the series all tied up. The Raptors have won two games in a row on us. We don't want to let them win three in a row. And it looks like we might let them do exactly that. All right, this one's coming down to the wire. Let's jump in. With a minute 22 to go, we're down by four and have possession of the ball. Avita Zubats is inbounding. He's going to give it in to Kay Cunningham. Cunningham is defended by Jackson here. Screen's going to come from Wilt Chamberlain. Oh, my controller died. All right, anyway, Cade, you got to lock in. Kay's going to fake. He swings it over to Chamberlain. Chamberlain defends. Defended by Scotty Barnes, gives it back to Cunningham. Now it goes to Wilt. Wilt, gonna get the screen from Zubats. Wilt needs to score now. Oh no, he dumps it down to Zubats who misses the layup and Jakob Pertl grabs the rebound. He's gonna give it up to RJ Barrett. RJ swings it over to Grady Dick who's wearing number 23. Grady Dick at the top of the key here. Gonna get the screen from Jakob Pertl. Dick making his move to the basket, dumps it down to Pirtle, who's fouled by Zubats. That was an intentional foul there. And the Raptors were in the bonus. I'm not exactly sure why he did that. Pirtle at the line, first one is off. All right, maybe it was a smart decision to foul there. Second one for Pirtle is also off. A Yaka Pirtle disaster at the foul line for the Raptors. Now the ball goes to Marcus Sasser here. Screen comes from Wilt and a beautiful pick and roll. Chamberlain's gonna dunk it home and now we do not have to foul just play some good defense here and we could be in a spot where we could tie this game with a two or take the lead with a three rj to the basket that was a terrible shot i don't know why he took it so early in the shot clock but we'll take it ball's gonna go to marcus sasser sasser finds chamberlain in the post will puts up the layup misses grabs his own board he's gonna go back up and knock it down the paint was clogged but it didn't matter for Wilt Chamberlain. Now we're all tied up. We just need a stop to send this game into OT. RJ Barrett has it, defended by Thompson. Thompson's a great defender. Not much time left for Barrett. He gets the screen from Clax, pulls a mid-range and misses. We're headed to overtime. Wilt Chamberlain came through in the clutch for Detroit. And now we've got some more basketball coming up in this pivotal game five. And in overtime, this game has remained close. We're up by one here with 56 seconds to go. Raptors have the ball. Claxton is gonna give it in to Colin Sexton. Sexton down to Jackson. Jackson, defended by Sasser here, gonna get the screen from Clax. Now it goes to Barrett in the post. RJ backing down Thompson, and he misses the layup. Chamberlain the rebound. Hassar Thompson has been playing some incredible defense. Thompson gives it to Marcus Sasser. Screen's gonna come from Wilt. Chamberlain's rolling to the basket. Sasser's looking for him. Double's gonna come on Chamberlain. Wilt doesn't care. He swings it out to Siakam for a three ball. Siakam misses. Chamberlain the rebound, and he's gonna put it up and in. Wilt Chamberlain has been dominant on the offensive glass here for the Detroit Pistons. I mean, you talk about a guy in Wilt Chamberlain who is seven foot one and has incredible leaping abilities. That makes him such a threat on the glass. And that has been incredibly valuable to us in the clutch of this game. 
Nicholas Claxton gives it into Jackson here. Ball's gonna go to Barrett for the Raptors. RJ, defended by Asar Thompson, puts up a tough shot and misses again. Asar Thompson is giving RJ Barrett nightmares. Barrett can't score. And now the Raptors have been forced to play the foul game. First one for Cunningham is off. Cade, you cannot go 0 for 2 from the line. Come on now, man. All right, there we go. We've got a two possession game now. It's not over just yet, but if we get one more stop, I think we'll be in the clear. Nick Claxton gives it into Grady Dig. He's defended by Cunningham. Grady trying to go to the basket. Short jumper is good. That was low key bag work from Grady Dig. Tough move. So now we are only up by two. The Raptors got a quick bucket there, and we need whoever goes to the line here to make both shots. It's going to go to Cade. Now I know, Cade, you missed a free throw last time, but you got to go two for two here. First one for Cunningham is good. Second one for Cunningham is also good. Cash money Cade. No timeouts left for the Raptors. Not much time left either. We should be good. It's going to go to Scotty for a three. Oh no. We are only up by one point here. It's going to go into Sasser. So the Raptors will have a chance for a desperation heave. First shot for Sasser is good. Second one for Sasser is also good. Don't let Toronto do this to us. Jackson from full court and he misses. We get the game five win in a hard fought battle with Toronto. Will Chamberlain came through in the clutch. Siakam was good. Cade was good. And we are moving on to a game six where we'll have a chance to close out this series and make the NBA fun. And in game six, we managed to get the win 17 and 15 from Wilt. And we are moving on to the finals where we'll be taking on OKC. The Thunder led by SGA, but also have Chet Holmgren and Cooper Flagg are probably the toughest team we face thus far in the NBA playoff. Game one of the series is going to go to us. Game two will go to the Thunder, and the Thunder take game three. They also win game four, and they show Wilt Chamberlain he's not ready for the biggest stage. In the NBA Finals, we go down in five games to OKC. Shea wins Finals MVP, and Wilt Chamberlain, despite a great playoff effort, comes up short and doesn't win the NBA championship in his third season. Headed into year four, we lost Pascal Siakam over the summer. So the team has definitely gotten weaker. We did end up replacing him with Tari Eason. So not a bad pickup, but Wilt's gonna have a little bit more on his shoulders in this upcoming season. There you go, Wilt Chamberlain. He wins the MVP award this season, averaging 25 points, 13 boards, four assists, two steals, and two and a half blocks. A great season for Wilt and a big way to bounce back after disappointing in the NBA. And this is a great way to bounce back after losing in the NBA Finals last season. Chamberlain also won the Defensive Player of the Year. Heading into the playoffs, we're once again the one seed. We ended off the season hot on a seven-game win streak. And real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. We're closing in on 30K. Round one, we easily take care of Toronto. Round two, we do the same to Chicago. In the Conference Finals, we got Brooklyn, and that's going to be a sweep. We've only lost one game in the playoffs thus far, and we're in the NBA Finals. We're once again taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. All right, Will, this is a great opportunity to get revenge for what happened last year. Game one of the series goes to us. Thunder will take game two. Don't let this happen again, Wilt. Oh my gosh, Wilt. You lost in five again? Kate Cunningham was hooping. Wilt was doing his thing. I guess the Thunder are just too stacked. I thought this was going to be our storybook season where we got over the hump and won the championship. Wilt was the MVP. He won DPOY like usual. It looked like we might have had something special, but then the Thunder broke our hopes and dreams. It's okay, Will. Let's just get back to the finals and hope that this year we don't have to face the Thunder again. Season is wrapped, and Will couldn't go back to back on MVPs because Cooper Flag got one. And what's crazy is in OKC, they got Shea and Chet as well. That team is so tough. And also, Wembenyama took away Wilt's DPOY streak. Now, Wilt was still on all NBA first team. He still put up good numbers. I guess he was just overshadowed by some other guys in the league. For the third year in a row, we were the number one seed. Hopefully, we can make it to the finals for a third year in a row as well. Hopefully, we can make the finals for the third year in a row as well. Round one, we take care of Miami. Round two, we do the same to Charlotte. But against Boston, we're running into some problems. 
games. They're up three to two in this conference final series. Yeah, they've still got JB, JT, and KP. Let's see if we can at least force game seven. No, we lose in six. Come on, Wilt. And the Thunder go on to win the NBA championship. So now we are headed into season number six and Wilt Chamberlain is still ringless. Now in the grand scheme of things, Wilt is still pretty young and has time to add a championship. But he's made multiple finals and hasn't got one yet. This year needs to be a bounce back year for Chamberlain and the Detroit Pistons. See, now this is what I'm talking about, Will Chamberlain. 25 and a half points per game. That's a career high. Also over 15 rebounds per game. Another career high. Over three blocks per game. Guess what? That's a career high too. And he's back winning DPOY. Will Chamberlain is set to dominate headed into these playoffs. 51 wins makes us the number one seed for the fourth year in a row. Round number one, we got the Pacers. We're going to make easy work of them. Round two, it's going to be Philadelphia. We're down three to two, and we lose in six. And the numbers were down for Wilt in the playoffs. Man, come on. Is Wilt Chamberlain a seven foot one Chris Paul? It's starting to look like it. No rings. He's kind of folding in the playoffs. Maybe they were right. Maybe the 100 point game was fake. Maybe Jalen Brown's left hand would have been historical back in the 1960s. Maybe they couldn't dribble without looking at the ball in the 60s. Because Wilt, so far, zero championships on this type of team that has been consistently incredible in the regular season is kind of insane. But hey, we're going to keep it pushing. He's still got time to go get that championship. Another season in the books. Wilt Chamberlain wins his third MVP. And how many DPOYs is that for Wilt at this point? He's got six of them. Crazy. The resume looks great. But obviously, what would make it look even better is a championship. Also, Wilt won Clutch Player of the Year. Headed into the playoffs were the three seed, 57 wins on the season. In round number one, we got the Miami Heat. And we're down three to two. We lose in six. Wilt, man, come on. No one can deny Wilt's regular season dominance, but people are saying Wilt's a seven foot one smush Parker when it comes down to the NBA playoff. And at this point, he's pushing 30. He's got to make something happen sooner rather than later. Let's get into another year. Cooper Flag wins his second MVP. Wilt couldn't win another one this year, but he did take home another DPOY. And this year, Chamberlain was named to all NBA second seed. We won 54 games we've consistently been one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. But that hasn't necessarily translated to the playoffs every year. In round number one, we got the Heat. They beat us last year, but this year we get the best of them. Round two, we got Philadelphia. We sweep them. And in the conference finals, it's going to be New York. Pretty solid Knicks team for sure. Hopefully we can take them down. It's a two to two series. We win game five. They win game six, setting up a big winner go home game seven with our season on the line. And in game seven, Wilt comes through. See, that's what we needed. 25 and 13 in this one. Nobody else scored above 15 points, but it didn't matter because Wilt had their backs. And we're moving on to the finals against the Utah Jazz. Oh my gosh, 390 pluses. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Game one of the series goes to Utah. We'll win game two. They win game three and we take game four, setting up a big game five with the series all tied up. I mean, already Wilt has won more games in this series than he's won in a final series before. The last two times Wilt was in the finals, he lost to the Thunder in five. But this time, he's going to have a chance to take down Utah in this game five and give us a 3-2 series lead. Now, we are down by five points right now, but there's still a minute 40 to go. We've got time. Do the Jazz also have Jalen Brunson? They got Brunson coming off the bench. All right, well, you're going to have to take down the Utah Avengers. This is going to be tough. Tar Eason gives it into Ali. Now it goes over to Cade Cunningham. Cunningham going to the basket here on Brunson. He's get switched on to Koa. Pete gets the foul and one. Oh my goodness, Cade. That was a tough bucket. Hopefully he can convert on the free throw as well. And he does. I just noticed Wilt's wearing the Converse's with the Nike Elites. 
I know bro's feet are hurting. Elijah Arenas has the ball. He's defended by Grady Dick. Arenas to the basket, and he's fouled by Grady Dick. Wilt had the block. Come on now, Grady. Wilt had your back. First one for Arenas is good. Second one for Arenas is also good, giving Utah a four-point lead with a minute 22 to go. Cade Cunningham setting it up here for the Detroit Pistons. He's going to run a pick and roll with Wilt Chamberlain. Chamberlain rolling to the basket, but Cunningham calls his own number, misses the shot. Wilt the board goes back up and is blocked. Now Utah is moving in transition. Collier up to Arenas. Elijah Arenas over to Collier. Collier gets an open layup and we're down by six. It is not looking good right now. We need a three-pointer or an and one or something. Cade Cunningham working on Collier. Puts up a tough shot. Misses. Wilt fighting for the board. Can't secure it. It goes up to Arenas. Elijah Arenas trying to get one last bucket to put us away. He's doubled. Finds Koa Pete in the corner. Pete over to Collier. Collier for three it's in and out this is our last chance to make a play and stay in this game Cunningham going to the basket short jumper is up and it's off oh my goodness Cade was selling after that and one he did like nothing good for our team Cade did have 34 in this game though so I guess I can't get too mad Wilt with 22 he's been having the best playoff run of his career thus far but unfortunately we lose in game five meaning that we'll be facing elimination headed into game six but don't worry we bounced back in a big way in game six we're moving on to game Game 7 here against Utah. NBA championship on the line. And we're going to have an exciting ending to this series. A minute 25 to go here. We're up by 4. Utah has the ball. They're going to give it into Elijah Arenas. Arenas was good for Utah in Game 5 in the clutch. Arenas going to swing it over to Gooden. Gooden defended by the smaller Cunningham. He gives it to Arenas. Arenas finds Brunson wide open and he knocks down the 3. The Jazz are within 1. And I noticed Wilt is not in the game right now. He's not fouled out, so he should be checking in soon. But in the meantime, Cade's got a lot on his shoulders. Cunningham going to work on Brunson, who's a bit smaller. He gets the screen from Aiden, has some room, and still misses the jumper. Now Brunson's going to go at Cunningham. He gets the screen from Koa Pete. JB going to slow it down a bit. He's looking for somebody to get open. Collier has some space. He misses the jumper, though. Grady Dick the rebound. Grady going to swing it over to Cade Cunningham. Cunningham on the wing, attacking the basket. He's going to swing it out to Grady Dick for an open three. And Grady sold. Less than 30. 30 seconds to go here. Utah has the ball. Isaiah Collier with it. He's going to get the screen from Koa Pete. Collier going to slow it down a bit. Now he's making his move. Goes to the basket. Floats one up and gets it to go. Man, he floated that shot up to the moon and still got it to go. So now we are down by a point. We've watched our lead disintegrate. Luckily, Wilt is checked in the game for the biggest possession of the night. Cade Cunningham going to work here on Brunson. Please give it to Wilt, Cade. He gets the screen from Wilt. Cunningham, short jumper is good! Finally, Cade Cunningham comes through. A big bucket there to put us up by one. 1 1.8 seconds to go. Game 7 of the NBA Finals here. Utah has the ball, and they've got a chance to game us right here. We either get a stop, or our season is over in disappointing fashion. Koa Pete into Brunson from deep. JB misses and we are champions game seven of the finals we did it Wilt Chamberlain wins the NBA championship what a season it was for the Detroit Pistons and what a crazy ending we had to this season is that Killian Hayes oh man Killian is back in Detroit and he just won a chip Grady Dick holding up the championship trophy man pass that over to Wilder Cade I have to admit Cade came through when it mattered the very most that little short jumper off the Wilt screen to win the game and Wilt Chamberlain is named finals MVP eight seasons in he wins his first championship and at 30 years old Chamberlain is gonna have a chance to add more rings to his resume. Now, one thing that's important to note as we head into this upcoming season is that Wilt Chamberlain is on the final year of his contract. So if things don't go well this year, maybe Wilt will test free agency and end up joining a new team. We'll have to see. Percy Gooden wins MVP this year. He's really good. We faced him last season in the NBA Finals against the Jets. Now, Wilt Chamberlain did still win DPOY and make all NBA first team. And I was talking about how he could be a free agent. Well, he decided against that. He 
got a five-year bag to stay in Detroit. We won 49 games this year, making us the third seed in the East. And in round number one, we're going to be taking on the Indiana Pacers. We beat them in six. Round two, we got the Philadelphia 76ers. We're down three to two, and we lose in six. So coming off the championship, we didn't make too much noise. We lost in round two. But hopefully that was just a bit of a fluky or something, and we can bounce back next season. Also, this is kind of random, but as I was getting ready for this video, I was looking up some stuff about Will Chamberlain, right? And I saw something that said he was six feet tall at 10 years old. I don't think I was six feet tall until I was like 17 years old or something like that. As a matter of fact, let me tell y'all my crazy growth spurt story. I was like 5'4 my freshman year of high school. And then over the next couple years, I shot up to maybe like 5'10. And then in my senior year up to now, I've grown to like 6'2. So for any of my short kings who are watching this video, don't give up hope. I think especially for dudes, you keep growing sometimes into your early 20s. So it's not over until it's over. I'm not saying if you're 5'4, you're going to be 6'8 next week or anything. But don't give up hope that one day you can reach the top shelf at least. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get to the end of the season. Another season in the books. Percy Gooden wins another MVP. Wilt Chamberlain wins another DPOY. Chamberlain was also named to the first team, and we won 48 games. That makes us the four seed in the East. Around number one, we got Cleveland. Oh my gosh, we just blew like a three to zero. Yeah, hold on, man. We won game one and two and three, and we still lost the series. 17 points per game in round one for Wilt. I'm starting to think that one good year we had in the playoffs where we won the chip was a fluke or something. Or maybe the Pistons front office needs to lock in and get Wilt some more help. Because since the championship, nothing has been the same. Don't worry, guys. Tyler Hero is here to save the day. Let's get into another season. Season is wrapped. Cam Boozer wins MVP. Wilt, of course, wins DPOY. They might as well rename it the Wilt Chamberlain Award. Chamberlain ended up making All-NBA second team this season as well. And we won 54 games. So a bounce back here. Round number one, we got the Sixers. We're going to beat them in six. Round two, we got the Cavs, and we lost in five. Bronny James is on the Cavs. Will Chamberlain, you are seven foot one, giving me seven rebounds per game in the playoffs. Lock in. Headed into another year, the supporting cast around Will Chamberlain is kind of just old and bad. So, Will and Kate, I'm expecting you guys to put a lot on your shoulders this season and get us back to where we're competing for titles. Another season in the books, Cam Boozer wins MVP, Wilt Chamberlain wins DPOY. Wilt was also on first team, and we won 39 games. No play-in, no playoffs. We're sitting on the couch this year watching the playoffs from home. And things have kind of been getting rough in Detroit over these past couple seasons. Ever since we won the championship, it's all been downhill. And with Will Chamberlain getting older and entering the final year of his contract, I think it'd be smart for him to go ahead and leave. But we'll see if he signs an extension during the season. Wemby Nyama wins MVP, and I want to show y'all something interesting. Wemby started off his career in San Antonio, went to Dallas for a bit, and then came back to San Antonio and won MVP. Wemby also won DPOY, so no DPOY for Wilt this year. No All-NBA! for Wilt this year. 37 wins for the Pistons. Yeah, Wilt. It's time to get out of here. He signed an extension. Oh, no. Why would he sign an extension, man? He could have got paid by any team in the league and actually won more basketball games, but instead he was like, no, I'm going to remain loyal to Detroit. I mean, credit to Wilt. It looks like he's probably going to spend his entire career with the same team. Oh, my goodness. Never mind. Forget what I said about Wilt staying and how it was bad. We drafted an 85 overall, 19-year-old center. Now I know, Wilt Chamberlain is a center. This guy's 7'3". I think we move Wilt to the 4 and just have a huge front court because this guy's got to start. Hold on, let's check out the potential and everything. He can become a 96? Oh man, we might have just drafted somebody generational. We'll see how good he ends up being, but I saved his player DNA. Let me know if you guys want me to do a career simulation on this guy. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that we will, but Dwayne Moreland, he looks like he's going to be really good. So if he does crazy things in this video, we might have to drop a full career sim. Anyways, let's get into another season. This year might not be great, but I think that we could have a few more good years left in us with Dwayne Moreland coming to the team. 
once he starts progressing, things might get dangerous for the rest of the league. Percy Gooden wins MVP. Irving Paul, Rookie of the Year. He was undrafted, just played his first game at 27 years old and won Rookie of the Year. I thought our guy would have won it. Wilt didn't win DPOY this season. Wilt made third team, though, averaging about 20 points per game. But I want to see, how was our guy Dwayne Moreland doing? We had him coming off the bench? We started Patrick over him. I don't know why, but... Dwayne Moreland was solid 13 points and six rebounds in his first season and we did make the playoffs as the eight seed with 38 wins and we're up 3-2 on Milwaukee we're headed to a game seven I mean if we could beat them move on to round two who knows what will happen after that let's try and get this dub dang man we fought hard we almost pulled off the upset but we lost all right Dwayne Moreland I'm relying on you to save this franchise and help win Wilt some more championships I need him to be up to a 90 overall this offseason. He only went up two overalls and Wilt's getting older. I was hyping up Dwayne, but he might not be that good. Who knows? I mean, Wilt's only got two years on his deal. Maybe he could ring chase later in his career. We'll see. Another season in the books. And man, we might be cooked. Will Chamberlain didn't make all NBA. We won 37 games, so no playoffs. Will's still putting up similar numbers to what he's been doing the past couple seasons. Dwayne Moreland was pretty solid, but that wasn't even enough to get us in the playoffs. But things might finally be turning around here in Detroit. We picked up Elijah Arenas. Cade Cunningham is no longer a piston, but we have a big three of 390 plus overalls. Dwayne Moreland, Elijah Arenas, and Wilt Chamberlain. Wilt is heading into the final year of his deal, so worse comes to worse, this big three doesn't work out, he can just leave. But I don't know, Elijah Arenas is a pretty big pickup, so maybe we can make something happen this year. Another season in the books, and finally basketball is back in Detroit. We were incredible. Elijah Arenas changed everything. We won 60 games. He came in here, gave us 24 a night. Wilt was solid, 18 a night. Dwayne Moreland had his best season yet. Overall, it was a great year. We even picked up Jerace Walker to run some backup four for us on a minimum contract. And in round number one, we got the eight seeded Atlanta Hawks. We're up three to two. Please finish this in six. We will. We're moving on to round two against Brooklyn, and we'll sweep them. Just like that, we're in the conference finals taking on Alexander Saar and the Milwaukee Bucks. They've also got Nikola Topic and Taj Ariza, a tough team. And so far, we're getting cooked. We're down 3-0, to zero, but then we took the next three games to 4-7 here. Come on, man. Let's pull off this 3-0 comeback and make the finals. That would be legendary. We're up right now against the Bucks. It looks like this one might just come down to the wire. Yeah, we got to jump in. A minute to go here, and we are down by two points with possession of the ball. Budinger is inbounding. He gives it in to Tari Eason. Eason has been in Detroit for a while. He's going to find Chase. Chamberlain for the dunk and we're all tied up. Nikola Topic bringing up the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. He's defended by Tari Eason. Topic going to get the screen here from Alexander Saar. Saar rolls. Topic fakes. He's kind of stuck here. So he's going to dump it down to Saar. And Saar is rejected. That was our dude. Dwayne Moreland, the guy we picked up. And now Jerace Walker has it. Walker defended by Saar. Going to give it over. Now it gets to Eason for a three. And Eason misses it. Edwards bringing up the ball for Milwaukee. He gives it to Topic who pulls from deep. What a crazy shot. And we grab the rebound. About 20 seconds to go here we're all tied up we can hold for the last shot trip to the finals on the line 3-0 comeback on the line and the ball is gonna go into elijah arenas arenas is just gonna chill for a second and then make his move not much time left for arenas he gives it down to chamberlain chamberlain gonna put up a sky hook and miss it now the bucks throw up a prayer and it misses we're headed into overtime wilt was in double coverage threw up a hook shot and missed and now we've got ot and here in overtime we're holding on to our season by a thread 
down by five points here with about 54 seconds to go we need a bucket it's gonna go into love love finds chamberlain on the roll and wilt's gonna dunk it home all right we're within three no need to foul here just get a stop and we could be in business nikola topic has it topic gonna find ariza ariza playing slow yeah the bucks have no reason to rush a shot and they get a quality look there ariza knocks it down that might just do it down by six here about 30 seconds to go we need a three and we're gonna call a timeout barrett on the inbound he gives it into arenas arenas over to love love gonna pull a mid-range and knock it down i don't know how much a mid-range really moves the needle for us in the clutch of this game and now we've got a foul we just gotta hope that the milwaukee bucks end up missing some free throws here once they get in the bonus it's gonna be nikola topic heading to the line first one for topic is good second one for topic is also good we just gotta run the ball up the floor and hit a three arenas bringing it up man do something don't just stand there he's gonna lob it up to will yeah what are you doing bro what are, what are we doing come on and we lose will chamberlain had a great game so did arenas but it's not gonna be enough moreland had a triple double we were so close man but wilt doesn't want to retire just yet so let's keep it pushing we've still got our big three intact wilt's getting older we got to make something happen sooner rather than later but we were so close to the finals last year that i've got to hope that we can do something another season in the books percy good and it's really good man wilt chamberlain actually made all nba this season at the ripe young age of 39 and we were the five seed despite only winning 42 games the eastern conference was weird this year like it was really tightly packed in round number one we got the new york knicks we're up three to two and we're headed to a game seven this team doesn't even compare to ours please don't lose to them and we lost well 25 5 and 6 i can't ask any more of this old man we're trying our best to win these basketball games but we're just gonna need more from somebody else like come on elijah arenas 10 points and after that playoff loss wilt chamberlain decides to retire I don't blame him. Will Chamberlain finished with one chip, three MVPs, 17 All-Star appearances. He made seven All-NBA first teams. And it's not showing his DPOY, so let me count those up real quick. Chamberlain also won 11 Defensive Player of the Year awards. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.